here with USC Upstate head men's soccer coach Greg Hooks. Uh, coach Hooks entering a, a very difficult weekend this week with Florida Gulf Coast and Stetson coming up. But it's also a key weekend for a couple of reasons. One, you start the weekend in second place with seven points uh, in the Atlantic Sun Conference standings. And after this weekend, you only have two more conference games left. Yeah, it's important, obviously, for the fact that we this year have a chance to make the conference tournament, which is what our goal is. Ultimately, we'd like to win the conference, but so would everyone else in the league. But right now, our initial goal is to get into the conference tournament. So every point we can get from the next four matches is going to be critical in helping us achieve that goal. Went into last weekend with a, a undefeated record in conference play with a 1-0 and one record. Came out of it with a win and a loss. Um, to put yourself back in, in position in the second spot in the league standings right now. Talk a little bit about how the team bounced back on Sunday against North Florida and pulled off the 2 nothing victory. Yeah, that was good. That resiliency is important because you have so many games right on top of each other that you really can't look backwards. You know, I use the analogy with them. That's why the windshield on the car is a whole lot bigger than the rearview mirror. They've got a, what happened on Friday night we couldn't change. And we, we got outplayed on Friday night. It wasn't – situation where they came off the field thinking, man, we got some bad breaks and we're real unlucky to lose. I think, quite honestly, we were beaten on Friday night. So, in some ways that was easier to leave behind us because, um, you know, you, we knew that we were out played. So, going into Sunday's match, I do think our players bounced back. They played well the whole match. And it was a big game for North Florida as well because they were obviously trying to get some points too. So, I do think hope that bodes well for the future in terms of the way our team came off the loss with the pretty good performance on Sunday. And finally, you know, we are just midway through October, but Sunday is going to be senior senior day for the program. Nine seniors are going to be honored before before Sunday's match. Talk a little bit about what the senior class has meant to the program and the development of our Division I here. Well, firstly, they're, they're all outstanding young men. They're all, every one of them, are very good students. I think out of the group, there's five of the nine who had a 4.0 last semester. So. They, they lead by example, and you know, really, and I know this sounds maybe sentimental, but I really want to see this team succeed for these seniors. These guys have endured, if you want to use that word, quite a bit. They've had a pretty rough go of things with the win and losses anyway, and they've never shown, there have been times of frustration, but they've never quit. And, you know, hopefully this season will continue to, to be one in which they have hope of getting into the conference tournament where they do get that opportunity because these seniors certainly deserve it, if nothing else, because they hung in there, they stayed with their program, they've done well in school, and um, I really hope this team succeeds um, as a reward for these guys. Well, Coach, thanks so much for taking your time out here before practice, and good luck this weekend.